Does Clarence Thomas have a point? Here to talk about it now, attorney and V103 radio personality Mo Ivory in Atlanta. And here in D.C. is Crystal Wright. She's the editor and blogger at conservativeblackchick.com. Okay, so is Clarence Thomas right? Are we too sensitive when it comes to our differences, including race? First to you, Crystal. Yes, I think we are too sensitive. And it, it reminds me of when my parents were fighting for civil rights and they were living in the segregated South in Richmond, Virginia. They sat in at lunch counters. They integrated schools. You know why? To end racism. And now we have people who are in the business of wanting to keep racism alive so that they can make money. People like Al Sharpton, um, and I'm not going to go down the list of things he's done. We have now we, we're, ha we're in a situation now when you have people actively looking, hunting Don for racism and to call people homophobes and to talk about sexism so they can make a living off of it. And they are. I mean, they're shaking down corporate America. And now you have a hypersensitivity where many white people are afraid not to even engage in an honest dialogue okay. on race. Mo, what do you think? Are we too sensitive? Wow. Um, I would have to disagree with partially um, what she said. But no, I don't think that we're too sensitive about it at all. I think we just have a more open forum to talk about it, to bring it out. You know, in this during the civil rights movement or the time that Clarence Thomas is talking about, it wasn't so acceptable to be able to just come out and say what you felt because you feared that there would be retaliation, whether it was a cross burned mm -hmm. on your lawn or whether you would be, you know, um, attacked. So it wasn't such an environment where we were able to express our views about it. But but I don't think that people like Al Sharpton, for example, take the liberty to call the race card. There wouldn't be a race card if something racial wasn't going on. So in many of the instances, almost all of the instances that you see, particularly the Reverend Al Sharpton and other leaders coming out and speaking on issues, you know, cases that involve race or racial profiling or murders involving a racial issue is because it was race that was invoked in the crime but to begin with. Let me jump in here because just recently, I, I flew in this morning with, and with all the, you know, weather things and I Get off the plane and my colleagues in DC are saying, oh my gosh, do you hear what people are saying about you regarding uh, the Samuel L. Jackson thing? I'm like, no, I haven't had really a chance. They're saying that you said that Samuel L. Jackson, right, um, looks like Lawrence Fishburne. They don't look anything alike. I never said that. I had a conversation on the air with a colleague about the differences in people and not being able to recognize race. It has somehow been turned around by right. people who are in the business of getting clicks on their websites from, and sometimes it's more insidious of people of color because they're trying to bring themselves up on your back and it can become hurtful for something that you never said or never intended to sure. say. Exactly. She has a, if, Mo, so she has a point and you have a point with that. It's ridiculous. We must stop that. It is making, especially African Americans, Don. look bad. We're Don. bringing I, each listen, other Don, down. I mean, wait, no, Crystal, you spoke. Hang on, no, go wait. ahead, Mo. Let, okay. Hang on, go ahead, Don, Mo. Don, I, I hear what you're saying in terms of the sensitivity and the divisiveness that that can create. But I have to go back to something that Crystal said about a white person doesn't even feel like they can criticize President Obama without without being mm -hmm. called a racist. You it's know that true. is so that is so ridiculous to me, considering that every day on the news a white person is criticizing President Obama. Every That's day we have groups. Of people it, it that are on the network. Right. It that it has on, it depends on the network you turn it, you Exactly. Turn it on. There's a whole yeah. network that is dedicated Don. to uh, okay. criticizing President Obama well, on, on a racial on, issue. So really, okay. to say that white people can't criticize the president? Okay. I mean, yeah, that's, that's a little go, bit go awful. Ahead, go ahead, Crystal. That's, Mo, ahead, that's, Mo, that is, is your opinion, and sure. you know, you know, you're misrepresenting the truth. Bump. Hey, okay. listen, if that's your truth, that's Crystal, right. keep saying it. That is Mo, my truth. Keep saying your truth. Exactly. And let's stop attacking each other. I agree. But and. And I'm, this got really far afield about people being sensitive, but it proves <laughs> a point the that people are really right. sensitive when yes. it comes well, to race. Well, because racism is still a big deal. Guess I mean, what? That's where we gloss That's over. where we agree, Crystal. That's I love, agree. All, I love both of you, and can't we all just get along? Yes. Thank you. End sure. of story.